Hi guys, I'm Phil O'Neill from Australia and I hope you're having a fantastic day. In this video, I'm going to show you how to clean and lubricate your trumpet, so make sure you stick around. As I mentioned in the introduction, today I'm going to show you how to clean your trumpet. Firstly, I'd like to apologize for the lack of videos last week. Uh, I've been out sick, so now's probably a good time to clean all those germs out of my trumpet and be done with it. So I thought I'd put a video together for you guys. Now, first thing, you need a list of, you need a few things. Now the first thing you need is a snake, a trumpet snake, like this. You need a mouthpiece brush, a mouthpiece brush. A valve block brush, a rag like this, or a cheesecloth. Cheesecloth works well as well. I like to use an old hanky and a cheesecloth. You also need some valve oil. I use Hetman's number one and some slide grease. I also use Hetman's for that as well. <coughs> right, I'll leave links in the descriptions below for everything. You'll also need a towel. An old, use an old towel. All right, use an old towel. You don't want to be getting crap all over your good towels. Now, here, all right, I've prepared, I've got a bucket of water. Now, you can either use a tub or you can use a bucket or, or a bathtub, whatever you feel like, but it just needs to be able to fit the bell of your trumpet. So I've just got some hot water. It's hot to the touch, but I can keep my hands in there for about a minute. I use dishwashing liquid. And a bit of and hot water. Now I use dishwashing liquid because it's not poisonous, and if it's fine to eat your food off of, it's fine to clean your trumpet with as well. Now I also use an essential oil. Now this one's called On Guard. Um, you can get that. Uh, I get it from a DoTerra lady. Um, now I use this because the clove oil in it, especially, is really good for killing any germs that might be in my trumpet, which are obviously going to be there with me being sick. Now. The first thing I do, <clears throat> like I've got my hot water here all ready to go. Now, with my soap in it and my bit of clove oil. The next thing we need to do is we need to pull the valves out, all right? And I set these aside. We don't want to put the valve felts into, we don't want to put the valve felts into the hot water because you can set your alignment out. So we want to put these aside for now. We'll come back to the valves later. So, <clears throat> valves are out and off to the side. Next, we want to take the mouthpiece out, put that in the hot water. All right, and then we gradually take all of our slides out, our bottom valve caps as well. We're putting all of this into the bathtub. Making sure that we get all of our slides. A lot of people forget the second valve slide. Make sure you get that one as well. So, trumpet should be like this in the end. Right. Then we put the trumpet in the water as well. Now, we want to make sure that the trumpet is submerged all the way. And it's in hot water. Now from here I leave it for about five minutes before I give it its initial scrub. Um, it just helps clean loosen any of that gunk off before we start scrubbing. Next you want to grab your trumpet snake and you just want to run this through all your slides. All right, you start, doesn't matter which order, you just want to get going, get scrubbing. <clears throat> all right, some people start with the body but it doesn't matter so long as you get them all. And just do this in the hot water. You'll actually see the gunk coming out as well. It's pretty gross.
once our slides are done, we want to get our valve block brush and we want to clean out our valve blocks like this. Right, just straight up and down. Right. If you get stuck, just pull out the other end. Right. Doing all of this under the hot water. All three valves. Next we need to do our mouthpiece with a good old trusty mouthpiece brush. <coughs> there it is. <coughs> now once we've done that, you can get yourself a cloth and just wipe out things like your valve cap bottoms. Just wipe out the gunk from there as well. And then if you're pedantic, you can go through and do this with the rest of the hole as well. <clears throat> now that we've done this, we want to take our valves apart and remove the felt. <clears throat> So to do this, you just grab the top of the valve, the very top of the valve, and this, will, this casing will come off. Like that, we'll take that top, top piece off, and the little bit of felt just below it as well. And make sure you keep these in order, because they will change the valve alignment once you put them back in your trumpet. Then put these into the corner of your bath, Try to do this with dry hands. Fortunately, my felts are actually rubber. And then I'll let my valve sit for a couple of minutes. Now next thing we want to do is we want to start cleaning the horn off. So I usually start by taking the biggest part of the trumpet out, which is the trumpet itself. And then I put it onto the towel. And I want to dry it with the Then we want to start pulling out our slides and doing the same thing with them. Grab them out, give them a dry. camera but I'm just using the towel to give it a good dry off and then I'm putting them down on the towel next to the trumpet <clears throat> um, so now I've got my trumpet and my side sitting on a towel just over to my left here um, and then I've dried them off and they're just sitting there for a minute. Next I'm going to clean out my valves. So, if you look in your valves, there's a bit of gunk in here. So, you can grab out your snake, trusty snake, and run that through. Be very careful doing this because you don't want to bend the valve by doing this. So you've just got to be very, very gentle with your valves. They're very precious. I have bent a valve before 
and it's not fun getting it repaired. Right. <coughs> Once I've scrubbed the inside of my valves, I then grab my valve block brush and I scrub the outside of the valves too. And I just put it in my hand like this, wet the brush, and then just scrub over the top. Only go up and down, don't go side to side. You want to make sure that you're going with the direction that the valve is actually going to move in inside the trumpet. So once you've given your valves a scrub, take them out of the water, put them on your towel next to your trumpet. Once again, you've got to be careful not to drop these. They will break easily. Cool. Now, it's time to put the trumpet back together again. So you grab, <clears throat> I'll start with the valves. Grab my slide grease. Right. Just use a little bit of this. Just put it on my little finger. Once again, it doesn't matter which order you do it in. You just work it onto your slide. Now I just put it, I just put it on the end of my slide, and then I put it into my trumpet and I work it. That gets my whole slide. Again, just on a little bit on the bottom, a little bit on the ends. Now I take my rag and I just wipe off the edges. Just neatens it up a little bit. Cool, so now that my slides are all together, I go through with my rag, and clean off my hand, and I'm just gonna wipe off 
around the edges of the slide where there might be any excess slide grease. All right, now that that's done, I'm gonna take my valve oil. I'm gonna just put a little, one drop on the end of each slide. Uh, on the, I'm just gonna take my valve oil, and I'm just gonna put a little bit on the bottoms of my valve, like my bottom valve caps. Just on the, on there. Just prevents these from sticking. It's not much, just a little bit. Right. Now we need to put our valves back together. So, <clears throat> using a different rag for my, for from my slides. Just give it a wipe off. Make sure you've got the right valve for the felt that came off it. You want to make sure that the valve alignment is the same. So. Wipe off and a bit of valve oil. Just a couple of drops, not much. Once again, a bit of valve oil on the top thread. Then we repeat that with all three valves. One thing I'm not really showing you guys on the video is I'm making sure that my valves are put in the right way as well. For my trumpet, the numbers of the valve face the mouthpiece, like where the mouthpiece goes in, and the blank side goes towards the bell. Most trumpets that I've owned have been this way around, but some of them have been the numbers to the bell. So just make sure that you check that before you pull it apart. You don't want to look like a goose at the end because you put your valves in the wrong spot. And once again, now that the valves are in, just wipe off any excess valve oil. Don't want that on your hands. Right, and the last thing is we want to play test. Make sure that it's all working and just That's all working fine. Now, my last tip that I haven't spoken about before, with my third, first and third valves, as you can see, they're quite sticky from all the valve, the slide grease. I just take a couple of drops of valve oil and put that on each slide. And then you work that in. I find that really helps get your slides moving quite well. I only do this on my third, first and third, because I want those to be quick when I'm playing. And then once again, after I've done that, <coughs> you wipe off any excess slide grease and valve oil. I hope this video helps you with cleaning your trumpet. If you like the video, smash that like button. If you know anyone who owns a trumpet, share this video with them. I'm sure they'll thank you for the reminder that their trumpet needs cleaning. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. By subscribing, you'll get a notification every time I upload a trumpet-related video. Once again, I'm Phil O'Neill from Australia, and happy practicing.